Did you know that parasites are one of the leading causes of mast cell activation syndrome? When you think about what mast cells uh, do for our bodies, one of the things is they protect us from various infections. And it seems that evolutionarily mast cells were probably placed, particularly in the GI tract, to help humans and other animals, uh, mammals in particular, uh, fight off uh, parasites. Parasites are everywhere. They're actually fairly easy to get. Worse if you're traveling, but you can still get them in the United States. You can get them anywhere, even if you're very, very careful. And the problem with parasites is that there, there are essentially two different types of parasites. There are intestinal parasites, and then there are blood parasites. And in the blood, we think of parasites like uh, malaria, babesia. In the in the intestinal tract, we think about Giardia, Blastocystis, Cryptosporidium, and uh, di different kinds of amoeba, and 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 there are many, many more. These parasites um, again cause a reactivity to the mast cell as the mast cell is trying to fight them, causing localized inflammation and can sometimes uh, promote uh, the breakdown of the intestinal lining, causing leaky gut uh, and causing uh, dysmotility, gastroparesis, and a variety of other things. Now, it's not the only cause. Um, there are lots of other things that we, we've talked about and will continue to talk about as we look at root causes. But I, I wanted to mention parasites because I think it's sort of underappreciated how much this could be um, a problem. And what I find with my patients is that when we target the parasites, once we find what is really causing the problem and we treat it, we can see dramatic improvement. You know, a, a big mast cell symptom for a lot of patients is um, heat intolerance. And while that absolutely can still happen after after root causes are eliminated because mast cells can still react to lots of things, anecdotally, I do see the heat intolerance improve when the parasites are, are uh, taken care of. So just a reminder to keep it on your list of things to think about, especially when you talk to your um, healthcare practitioners.